How would you guys like to scrape all of the Google Maps business data that you'd like with a simple Python script that I wrote for you, saving you lots of time and money of finding leads to call for projects or freelancing? I just want to show you guys a little bit of an example of the type of data we can get. We're going to get the name, address, website, phone number, review count, review average, and latitude and longitude of the business. Um, this is all scraped from Google Maps one by one. Um, from just a simple little script that I've got running right here and I'm gonna give it to you guys for free All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is go to this link in the description It is my github page for the Google Scraper 9000 that I have just created And what we're gonna end up doing is just hit this green button and download as a zip file I've already got it downloaded um, Just put it in any folder your downloads folder will work and extract it after it's been downloaded uh, once it's been downloaded, you can go over here to Visual Studio Code and what we're going to do is just all you have to do is look up Visual Studio and download for Windows so you have a text editor or any type of code editor of your choice will work just fine. Um, also, you're going to need Python installed. So if you don't have Python, just head over here to python.org and download the Windows version. Uh, Windows and you should just be able to download one of these, this Windows installer right, or the uh, stable releases. Uh, should be downloaded one from one of these. Alright guys, once you've got this GitHub project downloaded and extracted to your folder, go ahead and just open it up in your file explorer. On Windows, for me, it looks like this. And what we're going to do is go right up here to this top address bar and type in the word CMD. And this is going to open a command prompt in that current working directory. Once we've gotten here in this current directory, we're going to just run the command Python. And this is going to give you the version number and it should come up with three little greater than signs right here and if, if it doesn't say that and it says unknown command you're gonna have to go back and fix your python installation so it can work on your terminal all right and i'm just gonna press Control z to get out of there and go down a couple lines to clear my screen all right now once we are in here we are going to run this following command which is going to be python venv v-e-n-v Nope, sorry, Python dash M V E N V space V E N V. We're just going to create a virtual environment here, and that's going to allow us to keep all of our dependencies in one central location instead of installed onto your app data folder. All right, now what we're going to do to start up this virtual environment is just run this command right here V E N V slash backslash scripts backslash activate. And now we should have a little venv or whatever we named our virtual environment bracket right here or a parenthesis right there and that's how we know we are using our virtual environment now the next step we're going to do is run the command pip install dash r requirements dot txt and this is going to look inside of this requirements folder, this file, and it's going to look for all of the dependencies we need for this project. It's going to slowly go through, find everything, and install it to the VENV folder that we just created here, which is where all of our uh, repositories and dependencies are going to be for this project. All right, and once that's finished up, we're just going to go ahead and run this next command, which is going to be play write install. What this is going to do is install the web browsers that we're going to need to run our program for the web scraper. All right, now that's installed, what we're going to do is just we're actually start running the script. So we're going to do python main.py. All right, so now the script is started, guys. So what we're going to do here is it's asking what type of business do you want to select? So that's why I told you guys to download Visual Studio Code because more than likely, more than likely you're going to be selecting different business types than the menu or list I have here. So what you're going to do to change that is come over here to main.py and at the top you should see a list of business types and all you need to do to add your own is put a comma and put a quotation mark, double quotation mark and just do business whatever type you want and just put another quotation mark. So, and then save the file and then run it again. And that's how you can change what that menu says, but for now I'm just gonna keep them um, the same. So if we go back over here to our terminal, uh, enter the numbers of business categories you want. So I'm just going to do numbers one through 20. And this is asking if you wanna run the script in headless mode, which will basically 
show no window will pop come up and I'm gonna say no for the purpose of demonstration and now we're being asked how many listing how many business listings we want to scrape for each business category and I'm just gonna do five to make it a quick demonstration for you guys and as soon as I hit enter on that it's gonna open up one of those web browser windows and start scraping so as you can see in the terminal it's given us a status update after each listing scraped and it's gonna go through here and click each of these and gather all of the information that we want. So once it reaches the end of the list, like down here, for a certain amount uh, or a small town, it'll just give it a second and it'll skip on to the next city or town from that list of uh, US cities that we've got in the file as well. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and let this run and I can show you guys what kind of data we can get from it. Okay guys, I did just want to interrupt and tell you that there are some errors right here. So these errors um, could not convert string to float. Basically that's just because it's going too fast and it's only gathering the coordinates. Um, it's still going to gather everything else just fine. So uh, that's, just, that's not really that big of a deal. And it is going to scrape all types of businesses, large and small, um, all types of different chains. But what's going to be the end of the day is it's going to just grab everything that it can. So right now it's doing injury law firms and it's just going to keep going through uh, the list until we get to however many it told us all right so let's go ahead and look at some of the data that we've got here so we've got the name the address the website phone number review count review average latitude and longitude um, so we've got all that data for these websites and like i said we can open this up it's going to make a new folder for you called output and we can just go in here and open this up and we'll be able to see all of this data in readable format uh, which will be good so yeah we can just uh it, this will keep filling up if we leave this file open my little program is not gonna says permission denied um it's gonna quit so we have to actually not don't open this until um, you're done scraping And so I'll just run maybe 200 and then you guys can run as many as you want and I'll let this thing run all night. If it does freeze up and get stopped up, just come over here and move your mouse in this window. It usually um, keeps going. Um, other than that, you can let it run all night and all day if you'd like. And it'll just keep going. I do want to give you a quick disclaimer. This is for educational purposes only. Uh, anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you guys go out and use this script. Let me know if it worked in the comments below. If it worked, please leave a like. And thanks again for watching. All right, peace.